Tanya and Terrell. Brandon Johnson, one of the top candidates for mayor, voted here this morning and told us he is feeling really good about today and is hoping to bring about change to City Hall. People all over, over, all over the city of Chicago, um, you know, have been anticipating this day for some time, uh, turning the page on the old style of politics that have left families behind and we're ready to usher in a better, stronger, safer Chicago. Go. Cook County Commissioner and mayoral candidate Brandon Johnson believes the city is ready for him to bring about change. He voted earlier this morning at the CHA apartment building on the west side alongside his wife. All across the city, candidates got to it early. Congressman Jesus Chuy Garcia understands how close this race really is. He voted early this morning on the north side. That's why getting the vote out is so important. The other factor is uh, how the board process the, processes the vote by mail uh, ballots. Uh, it could be that if things are really tight and if votes that were cast the last two days uh, aren't counted, that it could be a long wait. Incumbent Mayor Lori Lightfoot is making several stops throughout the day today, greeting voters, asking them to give her more time to finish what she started. The most important thing to do um, is for people to vote. And then if they vote and I'm return, we're going to continue the work that we've been doing um, all over the city, but particularly on the west side. We have deep investments, deep relationships and partnerships that we built, um, and I'm excited for those to continue. With nine candidates in the running for the mayor's seat, several spent their morning shaking hands, hoping they can sway those undecided voters their way. We caught up with Alderman Roderick Sawyer voting at St. Moses Catholic Church on the south side. Candidate Cam Buckner greeted commuters at the CTA Belmont station. J. Maul Green visited restaurant patrons at Daly's in Woodlawn. And Willie Wilson visited the original Pancake House in Kenwood, hoping people make him the city's next mayor. With the latest polls showing a tight race and Paul Vallis leading the way, he is promising change for Chicago if he wins. This election is is about bringing to uh, City Hall the type of leadership that can assemble the type of leadership team drawn from the community to get the city back on track, whether it's schools, public safety, or finances, or even basic city services. Alderwoman Sophia King was scheduled to visit with patrons at Valois in Hyde Park. She did not make that appearance this morning, but we do hope to catch up with her a little later on today. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.